We're gonna do some damage. Can we finish this guard off? I don't know. They might jump me. They might get me. We did some damage. We did some more damage. We did more damage. Oh my god. Did you see that? And we're still fighting. I think this is the one. That wasn't the one. Now it's dead. As stupid as that may have been, that punch into my webcam was not done in post. And it wasn't done by recording the webcam separately and then zooming in. It was actually just done with a hotkey at the press of a button. I'm gonna show you how to do an epic dramatic slash comedic punch in on your face in OBS Studio. Super easy without needing extra cameras, a secondary camera for that specific view, or requiring any performance hit at all. This video is brought to you by my merch. You want desk mats? We got them. You want stickers? We got them. You want pins? We got them. They're pretty cool. They're in the classic blank VHS style design. If I actually sell the front part on camera, they are awesome. High quality, premium feel, made really awesome. And you get a free trial to Nebula. eposvox.gg slash merge. I'm Ebos Vox, the stream professor, and I have thousands of videos at this point on my channel helping you master your tech and build better live streams, especially here with OBS Studio. And we just posted one, for example, uh, last week where I showed you how to record not only your stream with your overlays and all of that, but then your gameplay and your webcam separately that you can then edit and mix and get better results than just having to crop in on your overlays and things like that. Something that has been requested for a very long time, and it's also done in a very simple and less resource intensive way and I'm super proud of that. We also have some exciting stuff coming up at the end of the week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay informed. It's kind of a Twitch staple at this point to have some sort of dramatic or comedic punch in on your camera. We do it in video editing as well all the time. And to do so typically requires some complex work and I've even seen some people build or you know set up a second camera specifically that's cropped in on their face to be able to do this and i'm here to say that that's not required at all in fact the way to set this up even with a simple hotkey is actually super super simple so for this we're going to need a singular plugin for obs studio and it's one you may already have installed because i recommend it all the time it is stream effects from zamar this thing adds shaders sources filters transitions encoders everything you can imagine we're just going to be focusing on one filter to or one source type today, which is called source mirror. You see, typically to add multiple instances of a single device or source type, such as a media source or a webcam, which is what we're working on right now, you either need a device that supports being added basically multiple times or to multiple applications, which most webcams do not, or if it is hooking, say, the same game capture source over and over and over, you're going to sacrifice a substantial amount of performance loss through those multiple hooks and processing all of that footage. Zaymar has added what's called a source mirror source to OBS Studio, which is super clever, as it just basically creates a duplicate instance of that source, but you can still modify it and do it for things like that. So for this purpose, I have a basic stream layout here. Uh, it's got a gameplay source, old school RuneScape, hell yeah. It's got a webcam frame that's animated and my webcam. Now, in order to punch in on this webcam, uh, I would either have to crop in and post and lose a ton of resolution, or I would have to, uh, you know, switch scenes or something like that, which I could do. I could be, you know, playing around and then switch scenes real quick and then switch back. But usually there's a transition, especially if you have default one set, and that's a little bit slower, and then you don't have like that's a full screen scene not necessarily a punch in so we can do something a little bit more creative here by adding a new source once you have installed the plugin i'll have a video linked below if you need to know how to install obs plugins most people don't but i get asked sometimes and then under your add new source you have source mirror so we're going to click that we're going to call this webcam chonkers and then you choose the source that you want to mirror to this new source so we're choosing our webcam bam by default, this is normal, but then we can do whatever we want with it. So for example, I can stretch it up and make it super big. I can actually come in here and hold shift and then stretch this out and get real, real wide boy. <laughs> and this doesn't affect the original webcam. It also doesn't affect our webcam scene. And this is something that you run into with global sources like this in OBS Studio is that if I, for example, add a filter to this particular scene, let's say a, a Luma key, whatever. You can start to see that granularity. If we come over here to this scene, you can see it's still applied to that source. And that's something that you end up having to work around with scene nesting and things like that. But that's no longer necessary with the source mirror plugin because instead we can modify this individual source here and have it just pop up. And so I can come in here and now as I'm playing my game, you know, walking around, whatever, as we hit this button, bam, 
pops it up, I can make whatever face I need to, hide it, it's good to go. Obviously using the mouse and switching between your game is a little cheesy, so then you can come in here and go to your hotkeys, and there is of course making specific sources visible, so I can just say uh, show and hide webcam chonkers, we can set a hotkey for that. Or if you have Touch Portal or an Elgato Stream Deck or something similar, you can actually come in here and just add a source toggle visibility to your Stream Deck, and then choose the source that you want to be visible, Close it, and then I can sit here and just tap a button. And that's it. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward, but a powerful effect that a lot of people want to use. I, I can't believe how simple of a solution that is for something that, like I said, there are certain cameras that are now implementing this as a feature. Uh, I think that was in the EPTZ stuff I showed off for the Avermedia camera and things like that. Uh, but I think, especially given that you can, like, set up multiple of these. So for example, we have this one set up, but I can also set up, say, a uh, new source mirror, we'll call this webcam small. And then we can choose our secret webcam and we can crop it. And we can just get like my floating head going on here. And then I can put that over top of my camera as some other goofy effect. Then I can be like, do 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 do. Oh my God, 200 IQ plays. And goofy things like that. Like I said, there's lots of creative potential here, but the fact that this tool is so easy, so fluid, and sacrifices pretty much zero performance is really freaking handy. And I hope to see you all come up with some cool stuff for it. If you do, let us know in the Discord down below. Like I said, this is something I've wanted to set up for a long time as I'm finally building out my new stream layouts and recording layouts and things like that in my studio. And I wanted the most seamless and simple implementation to work with. And I think I have found it here. I do hope you enjoy it. Like I said, let us know what you come up with. Hit the like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. And remember, be kind. Rewind.